He's the Melbourne boy who landed a spot on Australia's hottest soapy. For the last two years, Charlie Clawson has been playing home and away favourite Zach Maguire. Yeah, teaching at Summer Bay High School. He also carries the burden of looking after his niece and nephew. But now, Zach faces his ultimate test as he's torn away from the woman he loves. He's another Summer Bay resident caught up in the tragedy of the bus crash. Zach, what, what's happening? Uh, they're transferring her to the city. What? what why? The neurosurgeon said they're better equipped to deal with the ongoing assessments. And just as Zach Maguire's romance with Leah has blossomed, she's now left in a coma. So how long will she be in surgery? It could be hours. And while Leah's son, VJ, has been struggling to come to terms with her newfound love, the tension between the two has intensified. Before you, me and Mum were doing just fine. And we'll be OK long after you're gone. And Charlie Corson joins us now. Charlie, welcome to the show. Did you like how Tom said that? No, I just I like the way you referred to me as a Melbourne boy. <laughs> Must You're be. a man, Charlie. A boy is not almost 40 year old. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> now, viewers are waiting to see what happens with Leah. Is she going to pull through? Well, you'll have to wait and see, obviously, but um, it's not going to be an easy, easy path back. You know, there's going to be complications. It is a drama, after all. So mm. if she made a, a stunning recovery and everything went back to normal, it'd be pretty boring. But yeah, it gets more interesting for sure. We, we saw in the clip, Charlie that uh, the relationship with you and VJ is, is mm. quite tense. He's not happy you're on yeah. the scene. Uh, do you think that might ease down the track? Well, he's a teenager. And <laughs> from my experience talking <laughs> to my brother who has two teenagers, it never gets easier. Um, so it just gets more and more, it gets more complicated. I mean, the fact is Zach has uh, inherited a, a, a teenage boy and he's not his father and uh, he somehow has to sort of balance you know his own grief with what Leah's going through with looking after this kid so yeah yeah it gets it gets pretty prickly what's the best part of working on home norway um well being referred to as a boy <laughs> <laughs> on national shows no it's just Sorry. to be honest i know it sounds like a cliche and everyone probably says it but um, you spend so much time with these people, it's like a family. Yeah. Like you, I actually get excited the night before I go to work because I just know I'm going to see all my friends and obviously you're working in this beautiful location, but it's just the people. I mean, the crew have been there for so long and you know some of the cast members have been there a long time, so you really just feel comfortable when you're on set. It's just mm. a great place to hang out. Who's the loudest on set? Who makes, who's the rowdiest, makes uh, the most noise? I mean, Johnny Ruffo is, uh, <laughs> is known to... Is that while he's punching out a push-up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of guys punching out push-ups. I'm not sure if you've uh, seen the, sh the bodies on some of those blokes. Yeah, fit. But, uh, yeah, no, I'd say, I mean, some people may say I'm a loud mouth, but I don't know. Hey, Charlie, you've had a great Australian uh, career on TV, Blue mm. Healers mm. and McLeod's Daughters. Um, was there any plans or any plans coming up for you to sort of move abroad into the US, perhaps? Um, that's always an option. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've done sort of, I've, I've done a few trips to the US before and done pilot seasons and that kind of thing. Um, but it's, I just, I'm enjoying my time on the show right now, so I have no immediate plans to leave at this stage. Um, there's a few other things I'm working on and, you know, depending on how they go, that probably dictate whether or not you know mm. I jump overseas or. You, you mentioned to us just before we came on, you're working on a pilot, no, for a, a movie, a feature it's film, a feature film. Yeah. like a script for a feature film. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, so um, uh, so this is something that I've been kicking around uh, for a while. My uh, girlfriend is a director, and so we had our own production company for a while, and um, you know we just were always coming up with ideas, and this is. a the first idea we came up with that was fairly advanced and um, we got some funding from Screen Australia to write the next draft so that's the kind of next goal is to kind of you know get this new draft done and um, get it cast and then hopefully be making a film at the end of the year. Oh, or congratulations year. mate. Oh, yeah. is, it, is, it, um, is it strange for your girlfriend to watch you acting alongside <laughs> Ada? Uh, no, no, Ada and Ada get on really well. Um, I don't, I, look, I think being a director herself she understands like you know the mechanics of you have of, to pass on with Ada that's just part of the job that's part of the job thank you that's what that's how I should put it to her next time I've just got a passion that's just the way it is, <laughs> so it is babe. you've been with her for 11 years mm. any wedding bills well I just want to make sure she's the right one um, <laughs> I feel like I needed just a bit more time to be certain. uh we did no it's it's I mean it has come up but it's not something that you know is a priority for us like we know that we're going to be together and um mm. you know if it's not broke 
don't fix it. So that's the kind of attitude we have, yeah. You seem like a, such a busy guy. You're working on Home and Away. You've got uh, uh, potential films, mm. feature films coming up. What's Charlie Clausen like to do in his spare time? Um, I know we've got a mutual friend, don't we, Charlie? Scott Dooley. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I, have, I have a podcast, and uh, Scott's actually the second guest that I have <laughs> on that. I don't really have a lot of spare time. I mean, I just sort of realised after this um, you know, Christmas break, I had a bit of time off, and it was, it was such a shock to the system to actually have a day where I was doing nothing that I realised, oh, I've just been in like a work mode for the past like two or three years, which is great, you know. I mean, I'd rather be busy than yeah. not busy. I play AFL 9s. You're mad for AFL 9s. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We started a team. We put together a home and away team last year, the, uh, the Summer Bay Sharks. Are you, you any good? Comp? Uh, am I any good? Well, is the team any good? We, uh, we actually finished in the finals last, last, uh, last season or whatever it's called. And um, we're undefeated in this season. We haven't had one game, but we're still right. Who else is in the team? Uh, Johnny Ruffo was yep. playing. Uh, Nick Westaway plays. Kyle was playing. And then there's a lot of crew um, who play in the team as well. And it's a mixed team as well. So um, right. Philippa, who plays my niece in the show, she plays in the forward pocket. <laughs> she <laughs> talks a lot. <laughs> hey, that's great. Fantastic. You have yeah. footy scripts working. Exactly. It sounds right. intense. Hey, Charlie, very quick question yeah. for you. Some fantastic Australian films came out last year. Yeah. What was your favourite? Last year, um, I thought the Rover was pretty, Brilliant. pretty special. Mm. Um, and there was a Kiwi film. I know it's not technically an Australian film, but what we do in the shadows, which is a vampire comedy uh -huh. about vampires in a share house in Wellington, which I thought was, <laughs> was pretty amazing. Nice one, excellent, Charlie. Great to talk to you, mate. Yeah, All the best lovely. with developing this script. We'll, no uh, we'll keep an eye out for it. Good Thank to you. Talk to you, mate. Uh, to find out how Summer Bay's tragedy will unfold, you can tune in tonight for a double episode at 7 p.m. right here on Seven.